Republic is looking for some prototype that crashed here. The thing probably burned up in the atmosphere. We're never going to find it. With the Republic, the only way I leave Hoth is in a body bag. She's been here ten minutes and we've already heard about your little stunt on Quest at least ten times. I don't think you'll be paying for many drinks tonight. I want my mind back. The serum's course is unpredictable and it will take time, but you will be free from the brainwashing. That monitoring device Nadia found, it seems we do have a traitor on board. If they've stayed hidden this long, we'll need more evidence to determine who they are. Successor, Lord Kavos has foolishly given away his position. To all who excel in the arts of death, be it known that Lord Kavos, Master of Combat, seeks a lieutenant to serve him. I seek a worthy right hand to carry out my commands across the galaxy and profit immensely. Those who think themselves suited should present themselves at the coordinates included in this message. Come prepared. Kavos is just trying to lure in his enemies. That might be true, sir, but no amount of planning could prepare him to face Havoc Squad. The coordinates are on Tatooine, sir. I recommend we move quickly before Kavos can find a suitable lieutenant and move on. For the Republic! Target neutralized, sir. Lord Kavos will threaten the innocent people of the galaxy no longer. As expected, his overconfidence made his defeat all but certain. I simply took my place among the scum, hoping to gain his favor, then struck at the first opportunity. That got you a lot closer than you would have otherwise. Precisely, sir. Lord Kavos decided that a fight to the death would determine his champion, every man for himself. Once the fighting began, I closed in. I started by grabbing a Nikto thug who was making liberal use of a flamethrower. With pinpoint accuracy, I hurled him toward Kavos, whose robes were instantly ignited. I wish I could have seen the look on Kavos's face. I would estimate that he was surprised, sir. Although Kavos was thoroughly distracted, I remained cautious and did not engage him directly. Instead, I targeted a nearby Mandalorian using a jetpack. As soon as his velocity and flight vector were pointed correctly, I opened fire with my cannons, sending him barreling into Kavos and the Nikto. The explosion did the rest. It sounds like you carried out your mission with exceptional skill. Thank you very much, sir. This was a critical victory. Our comrades are sure to take heart when they hear that a monster like Kavos has been laid low. I'll begin searching for a new target at once. Still no word on the Deadeye's location. I checked with Garza, but she hasn't had any luck decrypting those coordinates we sent her. This is taking too long. For all we know, the Imperials have relocated the Deadeyes. That intel could be obsolete. We can still pick up a new trail if we follow those coordinates. I suppose you're right. I'll keep monitoring the Hollow. Maybe something will turn up. I'm afraid I have another requisition form that requires your attention, sir. Our shipboard rations have fallen somewhat below the levels outlined in Code 18, and the Quartermaster Corps' restocking estimate is currently nine weeks. As an alternative, I'd like to supplement our food stores with products from public sources. Real food, as Jorgen would say, but commanding officer approval is required. It can't hurt to mix up the menu a bit. Make it happen. I'll have us back to standard stock levels in no time. Thank you for your time, sir. Let me tell you, boss, this is not where I figured I'd end up when I enlisted. Growing up on Nar Shadda, you only join the army for the free ticket out of there. Does it even matter to you if we win this war? Of course it does. I hate losing. Before the army, I ran with whatever gang had the loosest boss and the most spare detonite. Had a long list of enemies. Even street trash take it bad when you blow up their buddies. Joining the army's an interesting escape plan. Worked like a charm. I'm alive, and most of those scumbags aren't. Joining up turned out to be the best idea I ever had. A lot more fun than running with those scrubs back on the streets, most of the time. Sounds like everything worked out for you. It's why I've got this sunny disposition. Hey, enough reminiscing. Let's go trash something, huh? Come in, Captain. This is General Garza. I understand you've just docked over Hoth. Hoth is locked in a three-way resource battle between the Republic, the Sith Empire, and a powerful alliance of pirate warlords. It's pure chaos. What's so valuable on an ice world? 
Hoth was the site of a major fleet battle during the First War. Many advanced warships, both Republic and Imperial, crashed on its surface. Both sides need the material from those ships, and both sides want to learn the secrets of the other. The pirates, of course, see opportunity. If our people need help, they can count on Havoc Squad support. I'm sure any assistance would be deeply appreciated, Captain. You're recruiting a technical specialist named Sergeant Yun. Judging by his service record, he's the finest technician in the entire Republic military. Yun is a Gand, an uncommon species in the Republic, and he follows an indigenous shamanistic training. No one understands it, but his results are unmatched. If he can get the job done, then I'll be glad to have him. Whether through mystical powers or luck, Yun's gained a reputation from his squadmates for doing the impossible. Currently, he's scavenging crashed Imperial warships to piece together a functional Umbra encryptor, the machine responsible for the Empire's most secure military codes. It's critical that Yun completes the Umbra encryptor. We've never come close to breaking the code, and the amount of intelligence we could gain is immense. With Havoc's help, the job will be done in no time. Yun has already been informed of his transfer into Havoc Squad. I'm told he's excited to meet you. Contact me again when the mission is concluded, and Yoon has completed the Umbra Encryptor. Garza out. That's amazing. I never would have imagined. Officer on deck! Why don't you give me the details of your operation, Sergeant? Hold up. Am I really the only one who doesn't understand what Freak Face here is saying? Vic's here to blow stuff up, not to talk. Oh, this is going to be fun. Having the Imperial's own records should speed up our search. Havoc's used to going in first. Just point us in the right direction. We're just getting clearance for Hoth, Jedi. Won't be a minute. Chut, chut. Bocachula, Chanu, Gando, Doe, Waliatapa. The Republic has a right to be careful. The White Moor is cunning, and a vast frozen wasteland is quite the place to hide. Who or what is the White Maw? The White Moor is the largest pirate band in the galaxy. A splinter group has been attacking the shipping lanes to our worlds. And the Republic won't waste more men to save them. Fools. Now there's a risk of mutiny. Our coalition might abandon Hoth altogether. How is it this White Maw is giving your soldiers so much trouble? The reports we've had are very, very strange. N none of them make sense. We're giving you command of our coalition force. Find out what's happening, and get rid of those pirates so our men can come home. The only soldier still bothering to send a daily report is Lieutenant Felix Ireso, the officer in charge. He's at the Republic base. With a little help, your coalition will finish those pirates and get out safely. There. That's what we've been hoping to hear. Ah, there's our clearance. Be careful, Jedi. Quite aside from the White Moor, Hoth's cold enough to freeze you solid. I'm telling you, LT, getting out today is our best chance. Maybe our only chance. Private Cree, I've noted your complaint. Twice. Now kindly put a sock in it before... Hey! See, guys? Just when it seems bleak, in walks a Jedi. Welcome. I heard some pirates were making life difficult for you. Perhaps I can assist. Sounds good to me. I'm Lieutenant Felix Oresso, the ranking officer. A Jedi? 
So what? Captain Ballon will finish her off like he did Daskin Antilles. The private is referring to a white maw foot soldier who became a major player overnight. When Valon and his followers started harassing the Outer Rim, they sent us in. The LT forgot the best part, Jedi. Valon can't die. Everything that lives dies in its time. Bonapakisa. Tekalia Shrek Grula Woskakwa Bobana. We even collapsed an ice tunnel on Valon. Next day, he's fighting us again. Now he's stolen our thermal bore device. This is over. We're leaving today. Enough back chat. All of you, dismissed. Sorry. They're getting twitchy. Valon's putting up a fight, and he'll have plans for that thermal bore device. A thermal bore device doesn't sound like a weapon. The ice here is as thick as a Gamorrean skull. A thermal bore melts it fast for mining or building bases. Set that device in the wrong place, the ice shelf will crack, and this base is history. Recovering the thermal bore might help morale, but my guys won't fight Valan again. These are trained professionals. Can't we appeal to their sense of honor? They need a victory. Any victory. Please, can you help me out and find that device? According to its transponder, the device is in an old Imperial science lab. It's not far. I'll be here, trying to stop a mutiny. Watch your back around Valan, Jedi. I've seen him fight, and it's not pretty. That's far enough. You must know by now that no backup is coming. You're all alone down here. Surrender your weapons, and I'll see that you're returned to Republic space. I doubt you have the power to honor that bargain. A minor detail. Surely you understand that this conflict is pointless? Even if you save the base, those men will die here. One lost ship is worth more to the Republic than all the soldiers on this planet. They will never leave Hoth alive. I think you might be overestimating how long this search will take. Ah, optimism that flies in the face of reality. I'd forgotten what it looks like. Very well then, I'll make this quick and painless. <laughs> Mother of a fight! I can't believe we stopped them in time. There was more to this than lucky timing. The area is secure. Maybe you should let the lieutenant know the base isn't about to explode. Welcome back. I can't thank you enough for this. We've got Private Falk in custody now. He'll be under guard until his court-martial. I still can't believe it. I just finished my report to Republic Command. General Ando wanted to speak with you when you returned. Put the General through. I'll speak with him now. Thank you, Master Jedi. One moment. Lieutenant Laskin to Republic Command. General, do you read me? Ando here. Ah, you must be the Jedi I've heard so much about. On behalf of the entire Republic, I commend you. Your actions have saved countless lives, not only on Hoth, but throughout the galaxy. Is there anything you'd like to say on this occasion? The lieutenant held this place together through the worst possible circumstances. He deserves a promotion. Well, that's good advice. Lieutenant Laskin, you are hereby granted the rank of captain, effective immediately. Keep up the good work. Thank you, sir. I, I won't let you down. I hope to see you again. We could certainly use more people like you. Good luck out there. Ando out. Well, this is a surprise. I'm sorry to say, you've just arrived in the least important outpost in the sector, Master Jedi. But we just got a break that could make this the hottest spot on Hoth. We got a message from one of the Chiss. They contacted you? There's likely some trickery involved. I agree with you completely. Ordinarily, I wouldn't trust it, but... Here. I'll let the transmission speak for itself. Republic Outpost, do you copy? I'm under heavy fire and I haven't got much time. I've stolen a data disk of time-sensitive information from Imperial Intelligence. I'm offering this to you in exchange for sanctuary. The Empire is hunting me. 
I don't know how long I can hold out. Send help, and I'll give you whatever you want. You wouldn't be showing me this if you thought it was just an Imperial trick. I think that Chiss would never choose to appear weak, even to bait a trap. He has to be desperate. If we're going to act, we have to act fast. If he's telling the truth, it's too great an opportunity to pass up. Thank you, Master Jedi. This mission is way beyond anything my people could manage. The signal came from a crashed dropship not far from here. Be careful. Bring the Chiss back if you can, but if it does look like a trap, get out. Code name Legate to Base Command. Come in, Base Command. Base Command receiving, Legate. Don't be surprised if I cut out. The whole Hoth system is murder on the comms. And not so good for people, either. You say that like you've had experience. Not personally. Friends. Hoth's a frozen rock. Not worth much on its own. But years back, it saw one of the war's biggest battles. Hundreds of ships got dragged into the atmosphere. Made a sort of a starship graveyard for the best girls in the fleet. You're going to bring one home. I hijacked a transport once. Never made off with a whole ship. I heard rumors. Tell me the story someday. It's a war zone down there. Republic salvage operations, Imperial saboteurs, and the White Maw. A few thousand pirates who want the scrap for themselves. Plus, the Starbreeze is a moo type shuttle. Slip of a thing. Have an able locator in the wreckage. Our only lead is inside the Imperial Army. What makes the SIS want this shuttle so badly? The Starbreeze belongs to the Republic. It's important to us. That's all I can say for now. If this ship is special, I need to know why. What if I find it damaged? Is it carrying special cargo? Assume that the Starbreeze is exactly what it seems and try to preserve its condition. I have faith in your abilities. We have reports that Lyak Davos, an Imperial Admiral who fought in the Battle of Hoth, is assembling an expedition to the Starship Graveyard. He's after a long list of salvage, the Starbreeze included. Join Admiral Davos and get that shuttle of us instead. If I steal the Admiral's prize, it won't be long before someone figures it out. You're craftier than that. You do this right, no one has to know. Codename Hunter will contact you from the field. He's en route to Hoth now. In the meantime, talk to Admiral Davos' search and recovery men at the Imperial base. With any luck, they'll show us the way. Satellite's dead. What do your people know about Grid Alpha 9? Pirate territory. Heavily fortified. Can you get me numbers? Perhaps, but our manpower is limited. Manpower? Excuse me. Captain Leo Firth, search and recovery. Saw your docking authorization. You must be our visitor from intelligence. Do you have a problem with me, Captain? No, sir. I just didn't think intelligence oversight was needed here. Sergeant, you're dismissed. The Chiss Ascendancy has been operating on Hoth for years. Useful, but let's not kid ourselves. So, what is it you came here for? Lyak Davos, head of search and recovery. Where is he? Ah. The Admiral's a good man. But you're out of luck. He left base with his expedition 36 hours ago. Long-range comms are almost useless in this weather. You want to wait? He'll be back in a few weeks. If this were an emergency, how would you reach him? Look, there might still be a crew at the expedition launch site. It's where the Admiral's supply line to the Starship Graveyard starts. But trying to reach the launch point now is suicide. Weather's bad, and there are Republic commandos in the area. I expect your cooperation, Captain. Maps, supplies, anything you can provide. Yes, sir. Sergeant Thent. Captain. Equip our visitor for travel. He'll need all the help he can get. Packed and ready, Admiral. Unless you're worried about the Captain's flair. No. We cannot wait. Intruder alert. They are a bit on edge, don't you think? Officer, I am Admiral Davos, commander of this expedition. You were not expected. I have full authorization to be here. Is there a problem? You must excuse our caution. Hoth is not a world that forgives mistakes, a lesson that scarred me long ago. Weapons down, everyone. We are in the midst of a delicate operation. These men are preparing to follow me to the Starship Graveyard. I'm not a fool, Admiral. This isn't an ordinary mission. You're holding back. Your people are paranoid. But deal me in and we won't have an issue. True, my mission is not what the record states. A pity you did not come to me months ago. Now, I'm afraid we approach the crisis point, and I cannot afford additional risk. Commander, torture him and find out what he knows. 
Then kill him. You're still alive. <laughs> Don't bother returning to base. Captain Firth is gone and Admiral Davos bribed most of the others. Admiral Davos just tried to kill me. What's going on? No time. Transmission breaking up. There is a location beyond the frozen lake. You'll find answers. Coordinates sent. Have you been watching me? We've been watching the sensors. Picked up blaster fire and assumed things have gone wrong. Go. Sent out. Well, as secret bases go, this isn't bad at all. Sir, sorry for not contacting you sooner. No one thought Admiral Davos's men would actually start shooting. Ensign Rena Temple, Chiss Expansionary Defense Force, welcome to Zero Station. Warmth on Hoth at last. A pleasure to meet you, Ensign. I know you're just saying that because I'm practically frostbitten. Come on, I'll show you around. This is a top-secret Chiss Ascendancy installation. Self-sufficient, running in parallel with the above-ground outposts. Paranoia at work. But our paranoia paid off. And this is our base commander, Aristocra Saganu. Ensign Temple speaks highly of Imperial Intelligence. She convinced me the Admiral Davos situation warranted bringing you in. You've had this hidden base all along. Zero Station was originally a deep space listening post. When the war came to the Hoth system, we kept it a secret. It served the Defense Force well. You're the first Imperial to know of its existence. Isn't she Imperial? I'm not at liberty to discuss Ensign Temple's situation. Suffice it to say, she is a valued member of our unit. Perhaps we should move on. The mission? My agents have been watching Admiral Davos for months. We became suspicious when he brought in his own crew, officers loyal to him, and covered it with bribes. Lately, he brought heavy equipment and guns, built an army for his expedition to the Starship Graveyard. You threatened his control. What's his background? His personality? Admiral Davos fought in the original Battle of Hoth and was stranded here for six months in the aftermath. My father told me stories. Brilliant strategist. Never had the connections to become Moth. You must be after the graveyard salvage. Prototype technology, military databanks. It could make him unimaginably wealthy. I won't proceed without Imperial sanction. Grant it, and we can stop Admiral Davos and his plans together. I'm in. What's our next move? The White Moor pirates control the wastelands between here and the Starship Graveyard. The Admiral's been sending his people out there for weeks. My scouting party caught them burying some sort of supply caches. We don't know what the Admiral's caches are for, but if you could get us reconnaissance scans, they might give us a lead on the man himself. These drop points, any ideas at all? Emergency supplies, deliveries to the pirates, we just don't know. These are the drop point locations. Contact me when you get the scans, and we'll find our man. Chis Honor. I'll hold this position until you get the door open. Time to do some damage.
Fully understood. Two wires in the maintenance panel, Yoon. One red, one blue. Which should I cut? I don't see how you can base so much on the wire's positions. Let's hope this works. You're an odd guy, Yoon, but I won't argue with results. I'll be long shortly, Sergeant. That was incredible. I can't believe we pulled it off. You and your team should be very proud of your performance, Sergeant. Outpost 427, this is Major Artano, Information Control Specialist for General Rackton's Command Group. Republic personnel are searching Imperial shipwrecks on Hoth. This cannot continue. Full security details will be posted at all crash sites immediately. I'm en route to Hoth now. Any questions about General Rackton's orders may be addressed to me upon arrival. Glory to the Empire. Who's this General Rackton? Rackton. He's that big-time imp general, right? The one they claim never lost so much as a school brawl. What do we do now, sir? The, the Empire knows we're coming. That attitude's getting you nowhere fast. Apologies, sir. It won't happen again. Just pick a crash site and we'll move out. Make it happen, Sergeant.
Empire got to your chist defector, but the data disk was still on his body. It's just as well. I'm not sure the men really wanted a chist hanging around here. The data disk is the critical thing. Let's get a look at it. Lieutenant, we need this decrypted. Yes, sir. This is from Imperial Intelligence. It looks like it's a strategic assessment of the Ortolan Geothermal Power Station. Maps, avenues of attack. The geothermal station is currently held by the White Maw. If the Empire takes it from them, we're in trouble. Exactly what will happen if the Empire's plan succeeds? Capturing the power station would give the Empire a completely self-sufficient fortified base on our doorstep. They'd be able to launch attacks from there with impunity. We'd never drive them out. What do you suggest we do to stop them? We don't have the manpower to defend that power station. Once you leave, the Empire could just take it. There's only one thing to do. Destroy it before they get there. Take these remote charges. It's too bad. We could certainly use it. It's not ideal, but we can't let the power station fall into Imperial hands. Nobody mentioned there were civilians in here. You have my sincere apology. The Imperial Army will be here any second. You might want to take cover before they get here. Oh, 
I'm sure Major Vincent will be glad to hear it. A Jedi. Perfect. You must be looking for me, Captain Valen. Soon to command every pirate on Hoth. But you don't have to kneel or anything. Please lay down your weapons and tell your men to do the same. Well, since you ask so nicely, no. I was flattered. A whole coalition army sent just to kill me. But it got old, so I'm glad for something new. Hmm. Nice day, pretty lady. Maybe I'll let you go. For now. Better hurry before the device goes off. The device could kill hundreds of people if it cracks the ice shelf. That's kind of the idea. Can't say I didn't give you a chance. I'm unique. The galaxy hasn't seen a man like me since Noc Drayan wiped out half the Hut cartel in one night. My legend's just begun. How about being the first Jedi I ever kill? You haven't heard of us. I don't have a sense of smell. That Valon looks like he needed a bath. Um, is it me, or was that brigand rather less immortal than expected? A powerful opponent, but hardly an unstoppable one. Curious. Hmm. <laughs> Perhaps that oafish lieutenant has told his men too many ghost stories. No matter. We'd better take that device back and get out of this intolerable cold. Hey, you're back. With one thermal bore device, safe and sound. Maybe I can salvage this up after all. Seems Captain Valan met his match. Guess we softened him up for you, huh? With Valan dead, I imagine you're all eager to get off this world. Every time I turn around, my men are standing closer to the landing pad. Thank you for this. You're, uh, really not how I imagined a Jedi Master to... Ah, uh, sorry, priority call. I thought I'd find you skulking there, Jedi. You're gonna pay for that insult. You and the Republic. I defeated you. I saw your corpse. Think you're pretty smart, don't you? Try your brain on this. We just found a heat exchanger for all the Republic bases. Might have ransomed it back, too. But since you crossed me, it's history. And you all freeze. That son of a... My men will be back from exercise soon. They can't know Valan's alive. If the other soldiers learn of this, they could mutiny. Just what I was thinking. My men can't find out. I could take them to pick off Valan's scouting parties, build up their morale. But everyone will die without that heat exchanger. If Valan really is alive, I need those scouting parties gone. Leave the rest to me. You're right. Sorry, I've been doing stuff single-handed. The heat exchanger's in this location. There's a Republic outpost... Here. We can use while we're tracking those scouts. Come report to us when the exchanger's safe. I don't believe in ghosts, but this is... Good luck. In position and right on time. Good to know we still have well-informed friends. I wish we did. Perhaps they could have told us Imperial Commandos were sneaking about. Now, Jedi, 
Our orders are to freeze you in carbonite, not kill you. So kindly surrender now. I'm afraid I'll have to decline your generous offer. Yes, they said you might be stubborn. Keep her still. I need a clear shot, or she'll just freeze and shatter. No, please. I'm an engineer. I was just supervising the carbonite weapon. Please don't kill me. The informant didn't say you were some crazy super Jedi. I won't hurt you, but I want to know what's going on. This anonymous tip said you'd insulted Captain Valon. The commandos planned to use you to lure him out. They needed you as bait. Said they had to get back the armor Valon stole. What's so special about Valon's armor? Hoth's covered in starship wreckage. We found advanced armor in a wreck and took it to our labs. That armor has a special healing mechanism. It heals any wound. They just got it working when Valon stole it. That's all I know, I swear. Can... can I go? One more question. Will this armor keep Valon alive no matter what I do? I don't know. They said Valon's invincible while he's wearing it. I'm never coming back to Hoth. I'm getting out of it. I'm still bleeding. Please, great Jedi, could you heal me? I'll never make it to the landing pad like this. I cannot leave anybody in pain. Here, this will help. Yes, that's better. Thank you, Jedi. I'll never forget this. Attempt to steal Imperial property has been detected, and reinforcements called from all nearby positions. Drop your weapons and enter Imperial custody, or face termination. The more imps you send, the more I get to kill. Ha! Bloodthirsty grandstanding. You had your chance. Now be crushed by the might of the Empire. in the cave and making my way up. Sure, Yoon. I'll keep your kids out of trouble. Keep my eyes open, Sergeant. Sir, this is Enzon Temple. Looks like that cache is full of stolen Imperial equipment. Given how the pirates are guarding it, I'm guessing it's a gift from Admiral Davos to the White Moor. Don't tell me you called just to talk about pirates. The Defense Force is surprisingly strict about using their secure channels for personal calls. I advise continuing the recon. A little luck and we'll pin down which White Moor faction the Admiral's dealing with. If you can tag the caches for tracking, that wouldn't hurt either. Temple out.
Tracking signal coming in. This is Hunter to Leggett. Hope you weren't getting lonely. I'm on planet, but signals don't carry here. Arden Koth authorized me to take your reins. Have you found the Star Breeze yet? I haven't seen you since Nashadar. How's the rest of the team? You didn't answer my question. Now I'm gonna have to force you. Keyword onomatophobia. Command, deliver your mission report. I am attempting to locate Admiral Davos, who will lead us to the Star Breeze. Good. Obedience comes easier when you don't have a choice. Contact me as soon as you find the shuttle. Hunter, out. Smart. Arrogant. Cautious. Don't underestimate him. Temple here. Like we thought, those caches are a gift from Admiral Davos to the Pirate Coalition. Specifically, he's paying off a group called the Marauders. Raiders and hijackers, influential with the other pirate gangs. What do we know about their methods? Composition? Sorry, still reviewing the file. Heavy weapons and frontal assaults. Mixed species. I'm... not going to read you what they do to their victims. The Marauders have a camp nearby. Guard looks light at the moment. We're going to take a team in. Meet us there and we'll dig up some answers. Temple out. Masa Kipuna. Last you! Stop! Look at me and stop! That's right. Keep looking here. I'll keep talking, and you keep looking. Sir, if you're going to do anything, do it now! Are you all right, Ensign? I'm fine. Check on the others. Sir? I suppose you want an explanation. What are you, Ensign? Jedi? Sith? What I did back there... It was a force trick, sir. I'm just powerful enough to get into trouble. No lightning, no seeing the future, I never trained. If the Sith knew, they'd have me killed. That's why I left Imperial service for the Chiss Ascendancy. If the Sith knew... You could become one of them. Only if I survived the Sith Academy. And I wouldn't. Please, it's your prerogative to pursue this, of course. But let's finish the job first. Put some faith in me, and this might turn out all right. Getting a call from Zero Station. They finished analyzing the pirate data. Agent, Ensign Temple. Your raid was successful. It seems Admiral Davos has been trying to arrange safe passage through pirate territory to the Starship Graveyard. The pirates have agreed to meet, today. Giving away all that heavy equipment must have paid off. The meat is in the primary marauder base, heavily fortified. Attack head on and the attendees slip away. However, a cave system runs under the base, moves softer than a shadow, and you could tap the cave wall. You're sending him to the bone pits? The caves are inhabited by animal life and resemble a slaughterhouse. But it's the perfect place from which to observe the meeting. Sounds dangerous, but I'm willing to take a risk. Once you're in place, you can use a laser drill and microcord camera to tap the wall. My team will be in touch from Zero Station. Good luck to you. We need to move out, but be careful in the monster's den. <laughs> <laughs> 